In this video, we will be analyzing how to set up and evaluate core losses and eddy effects in ANSYS Maxwell. Uh, core losses will be typically employed in laminated steel or power ferret applications. However, they could be used in other kind of applications where a core loss model is well known and established. Core loss is a post-process calculation based on analytic methods, so it doesn't have any actual effect on the field solution. However, Maxwell provides for an advanced core loss calculation method which does have an effect on the field and uh, provides a more accurate core loss solution. On the other hand, eddy effects will be typically employed when analyzing solid and high electrical conductivity bodies, like the ones shown in this list. Eddy effects method is an FEA calculation that has an impact on the actual field solution. To start with, we will define a zero value current excitation to the magnets. The reason for this is that we now can plot the losses in each of the magnets individually instead of the total loss. Now we will define eddy effects in the four magnets. It is not necessary to define the current excitations in order to plot eddy effects, but it is necessary if you want to display the losses for each of the magnets individually. Now let's go to the material properties of the stator and rotor laminations. We need to make sure we have a core loss model enabled. This could either be electrical steel, power ferrite, BP curb, or any uh, custom data set. Make sure to enable core loss calculation to the stator and rotor laminations. You don't need to do the same for the magnets because you have already defined eddy effects on them. Make sure you have selected output per object core loss and output per object solid loss. In this way, you will be able to see individual uh, losses for each of the components. Let's plot the core loss and the eddy loss. The core loss calculation is based on an analytic model and we can either plot the total core loss or its components, eddy current, excess, and hysteresis. This is different from eddy effects, which is based on an FEA model. Here we can see all the losses we can plot. Let's plot now the total rotor and the total stator losses. The green curve is the stator core loss, uh, having a significant higher value than the ro rotor which makes sense for an electrical machine. There are other kind of losses. We can plot hysteresis, eddy, and excess individually. But now let's focus on the eddy effects applied to the magnets. We will plot them individually. We can see some of the magnets have higher losses than the others because they are closer to the stator. Now let's plot the total magnet loss. There is a more advanced uh, core loss calculation method, which will give slightly more accurate magnetizing inductances and uh, core loss resistances in the expense of longer calculation time. Now let's go ahead and plot the ohmic losses in the magnets. First, we need to make sure to save the fields. Uh, so we will save them in a linear step. And um, now we will go to a specific time. Uh, let's select the magnets and um, head to fields overlaid. In this case, go to other and ohmic loss. To improve the ohmic loss plot, you will typically make it smooth uh, the plot quality, you will make it fine, and uh, the scale, uh, you will make it uh, with a 250 number of divisions or uh, over 100. This kind of plot can be also very useful uh, when analyzing short circuit transients. This is all we have for our core loss 
uh, calculation and ADFX calculation uh, video.